Hey, Tactical Painter here on out in Suits Crafting. Welcome to my shop. Today we are going to be working on another one of these beautiful uh, American Patriot fountain pen kits. Uh, they, this one is going to be in a Patriot Kieranite blank. I've got a blank selected. Uh, I got a few on order here. Uh, I got this one selected up for a buddy of mine. Actually, somebody that I used to work with uh, back in the day when I did armed security work. Uh, he was my wingman for a number of years. Um, I would tell you what his call sign was, but um, he'd have to kill me. Uh, so we're going to get this uh, turned up for him. He saw the pen that I carry on me on a daily basis and said, you know what, i got to have one of those. And he ordered one of these from me on the spot. And then he had a, I had a pen that was in my pocket. It was uh, an American Patriot Chrome. Uh, with stars on the top and then striped, wavy stripes on the bottom and he bought that one from me right out of my pocket. So uh, without further ado, let's get it started. Here are a couple of intruders coming on out into the shop here. There we go. Hi, baby. Wait, you want to say hi? Huh? Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Yeah, hi. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. not happy that I punched a hole in it so it screamed at me quite something fierce quite something fierce new English for you all right time to glue up this American Patriot pen kit so when I glue these up I always glue from the side that I have my line on and I keep the brass close to that tube that way when I uh, am lading these down those lines stay together and everything looks cohesive between the cap and the base. So we will put some thick CA technology glue on here. I am not sponsored by them, uh, but if they want to send me some free stuff, I'll absolutely say they are the greatest product out there, even though they already are. scraper up a little bit so now we have a nice sharp scraper 
they're all ready to go. Gotta go change batteries in my camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just cleaned off the lathe and got all the little shavings and things out of here. You know, vacuumed them all up because um, you know this thing is plastic, so being plastic, rubbing on it uh, with sandpaper and polish or and um, polishing pads does cause quite a bit of static electricity. So uh, you remove all dust and everything away from here. That way it doesn't cling to it and and there's nothing to float around. Because once you get polishing and doing all that um, you don't want anything to be sitting on there so without further ado let's get on to sanding
look at that piece of beauty right there. That is wonderful. So happy. All right, let's get that off of there, let it cool down, and we will get on to assembly. Okay, so we got all of our parts laid out for our American Patriot fountain pen kit. And uh, just a reminder, always refer to your instructions when putting these together. This one does have a slight taper on the cap that goes from, I believe, a 0.51 down to a 0.47 so you do have to make sure that you have that lined up correctly um, one easy way to remember how exactly how this goes is that on the inside of the barrel here in the center band you have that marking that little blue line that indicates that, that is your center that's your index point with your other barrel right here with its little blue line you can see that right in there. Don't know if you can see that. Not as bright coming in from my outside lighting today. So we've got those two blue lines. And when you line those two up, like so, then the shimmer lines up like that. And, whoop, I just dropped that. Line that back up here. There isn't really much to index on other than that shimmer looking at it from the outside. So I'm going to have to rely on those blue lines in order to tell me exactly where I need to line these up. Now I can go off of that white mark there and this loop here. I can know that I got to go from that white mark into that loop. But other than that, there is absolutely nothing else to index this on. So, without further ado, let's get this assembled. Now to start this off, we're going to go ahead and put our cap on. So we're going to make our first decision right now. How do we want this to look? I kind of like the look of that with the red and white banding on that side of the clip. So I think we will do that. Now that also puts the shimmer or the glow exactly on the sides, on both sides there. So you can see how it shimmers like that. Uh, you have that light reflection coming through like that. So I like to have that on the sides. I think it looks better that way. Really brings out the pen's features that way. Same on that side. So we will press that together. Again we just grab a piece of paper here. Just to add, act as a brace keep from scuffing the cap as I press this together. Or as I attempt and fail to press this together because I need a block here. To act as a buffer. Press that in. We'll rotate that slightly. And by slightly, I mean halfway around. Press on that. Make sure we get a good fit all the way around. We got a real good fit there. A nice transition. All right. So now on to our next part, which is this. God bless America center band. Focus. Come on, focus. Thank you. This is God bless America around there on the center band. Come on, focus. Thank you. And I tend to center this up 
on that last S and that puts about equal amounts onto the outside there. Now you gotta be real careful pressing this part together because that coupler there that goes inside the barrel is plastic. So just take it slow. Just gentle pressure. All the way around. And that looks real nice. A good fitment. Okay. So now you've got these two couplers that are exactly the same because they're meant to post the the cap onto either end. And so it doesn't matter which one goes on which side, they are identical. Uh, and I put the back one on first because this top one we will index with our point that we discussed earlier. So let's put the bottom on first. Okay, now to index, we're going to take one of our couplers, we're going to screw it in here, thread it in. We're going to find our point that we talked about earlier, that white spot there. And line it up. Just like that, like we discussed earlier. Press it in a little bit. Unthread the cap. And We will press that in right there. Rotate it. Ouch. And there we go. So now that goes just like that. Our shimmer line lines up. Next step's real simple, we just thread the back, this back piece on. Put our nib on. There we go, and that pen is fully assembled. Looks really nice. Okay. Now these pens are real nice because they come with both a standard uh, universal ink refill. It comes with one black one, but it also comes with a reservoir, just like this one. And these are real nice because you can actually put this in the pen and then this little cap here this twists focus thank you twists on and off so you twist this and that plunger goes in and out so with that on you take the nib and you dip it down into your ink and then you twist this to the right and that pulls the plunger back it sucks ink up into the reservoir and then as you use ink you do have to take the nib out and just twist that a little bit to the left and just take up the air bubble space and then you get all the way down to the bottom you dip your nib down into your ink well pull it back up sucks ink back up into it so you can do the cartridges and just every, you know every once in a while you gotta put a new cartridge in. You can even get maxi cartridges that are that are twice as long. Uh, but you do have to change them more frequently than you do a rollerball pen or even a um, a standard 
standard pen. So, uh, because they do, you have ink flowing out of it as opposed to being rolled on in a very thin layer. They do go on a little bit thicker, so you have to change your ink a little bit more often. Uh, but I like to use the ink reservoir because I'm able to customize and get special inks and all sorts of things. The cartridges are a little bit more limited, um, and so it, it is nicer. But uh, yeah, it's a real nice pen. The customer that I have, he really likes blue ink, so I'm going to get him some blue ink cartridges uh, to get him started off. Uh, so that's a real, real nice pen. He's really got a good one here. That's that.